Hello guys, welcome to the channel. My name is BJ and I am a Microsoft MVP. Today we are going to discuss about uh, how we can create a site in Microsoft 365 Web Admin Center. So if you look at the channel, there are videos where uh, you can see how we can create it. But I thought I'll make it again because there are a lot of UI changes happened. And I will show you today how we can create a team site, which is group connected site and then communication site and also I'll show, I'll show you how we can create a classic SharePoint and non-group connected site also that also I'll show you but I'll take one minute of time to uh, tell you that uh, this is our first video in this year uh, 2024 so first of all happy new year and I hope um, you have a great fantastic year till now uh, this year um, I have decided that I'll focus more on the YouTube so that I can share a lot of knowledge on uh, you know various SharePoint things, Power Automate things, SPFX, uh, Power Platform things entirely you can say. So I'll keep making videos. So if you are new to the channel, subscribe it so that you will get notified on all the videos that you will make. So I have decided that I'll make at least three videos per week. So from next week onwards, today is one video that I'll create and from uh, this week onwards, you will get regular videos on it. That is for sure because I want to add value. So I want to add uh, uh, lot of videos on power platform also as uh, uh, you know you know there's in pick and then uh, there are a lot of changes are happening also which i thought uh, you know i should share so i'll do that so now coming back to uh, our site thing so if you'll see uh, first thing comes as uh, whether we will create a site collection or site so if you'll see previous classic developers we talk about uh, site collections uh, but Microsoft has changed that and then they are considering that as a site so forget that in SharePoint online there is a site collection concept is there so it's site that you are creating whether you are creating something for your HR department finance department that you are creating a site for it now uh, the other thing that uh, uh, what exactly when we as a um, or we we as a SharePoint owner create a site uh, previous previously what happened is we create site soft site like this but again the best practices now is let's say you created a site and then uh, you want to create another site for your HR department so you can create another site so no need to go for a soft site or uh, stuff like that uh, because uh, when you will go for it you will have additional uh, responsibility for permission management which can be a problem later point of time as your more uh, content will grow and then or uh, you know user base will grow so everything is site now so forget about that you need to create a site collection or stuff like that there will be some names will be there still uh, probably you will see some of the articles where site collection name is there but don't worry about that thing you are creating a site now there are uh, i'll also take you to the system and then we'll create step by step but before that i will tell you that uh, so basically now majorly we are focusing on two things a team site which is a modern team site and then a communication site so when you will create a team site and communication site, team site assume that we are creating for a particular team or let's say our development team they are working on th things a project where you want that they should uh, collaborate with each other so you create a team site you are creating a site for your hr professional or finance professionals they want a site to put their information which can be shared by team members so you can create a team site for them but if any information that you want uh, your entire that information is for your entire organization then you create a communication site now for example your inter internet home page that's a site which will be a communication site now let's say you want to uh, have additional site where you want to uh, inform about um, some of the events happening or something which you want that this information will be accessed by the entire organization without having any uh, any any other approval or things like that or any um, or you are not choosing that only this set of people right so in this case what will happen is in communication you will create a, a group or uh, a pers few person will be responsible for uh, providing content to that and once they publish it then it will be available for all the users in your organization but when we talk about a team site there is specific people will be there and uh, you will add them um, now if you will see the permission these team owners and then the uh, members are there so you can add them and they will be able to access it 
if any new person joining the team they will have to access a request for it or you will give permission then only they can access it anyone going from the team you can remove it so that they cannot access that information now when we talk about team side there are couple of things are there one thing is uh, we say that there is a uh, modern team side which is a group connected side it is nothing but a group will be there created uh, before so there is a group email address planner and everything you will able to access it so any time you want to give access to a user the user will be added to the group so any services are there um, that the user will automatically added or they can access it the another one is a group uh, a team site but no groups will be created on that so purely purely that's a sharepoint team site where you can go there and if you want to add some users then you will go to the permission create a sharepoint group probably and then uh, you can add it though you can use your you know sharepoint groups also you can add that but it will not create those things simultaneously so it's a purely it will just create a team site that also you can do it but again the best practices is you should create a group connected site so that you will get lot of other services um, in, in that group so you know calendar share calendar it will create so like this event um, and that's uh, planner and uh, group email address those things will be there and there is a site which is called as the classic team site which previously we used to create which is having a different look and feel so if you want that also you can create so this way we will be able to create three different types of site i hope i got a clear idea i gave you a clear idea on that again if you are if you want to know if you want to create a classic team site then you should ask yourself why we want to create a classic team site now because microsoft is recommending that we should create a uh, modern team site and then the last thing i want to tell you is that if you want to create a site you should either you will be a global administrator or you will having a sharepoint administrator then you will be able to create it so i'll take you to the system now and then we will see step by step how we can create it uh, both the team site uh, modern and classic and also a group connected site and non group connected site and the communication site so now let's jump into the system and then we'll see in practical all right so if you'll see here now i have logged in to my tenant so this is a test tenant and i am logged in with my user um again you needs to be a global administrator or a sharepoint administrator to have access to this page so in the sharepoint admin center you can go to the active sites and from here we can create it so you can see i click on the create button and this is where you will see there are two kinds of sites it is asking us team site communication site if i'll select this option then i'll be able to create a communication site if i'll select this option then i'll um create a modern team site which will be a group connected site but in case i want to create a non group connected site so you can see here there is a option which is called as browse more site option i'll click on this and this option if you can see here does not create a uh, microsoft 365 group shared calendar uh, shared shared outlook inbox or a shared a uh, shared calendar so that means this is a site which will not be a group connected site that is one thing but in case if you want to create a classic team site then you can come here and then you can see here more templates now you can see here it is saying reload actually um, it will come to this page but if you will see there will be a tab which will open and this will contain the information of creating a site collection now look at this uh, the concept of site collection was there when we usually create or use the classic version of it and that's the reason you can see this option is there if you are little familiar with uh, you know uh, team classic sites then this is the a uh, page which we usually create right you can give the title and then the site or teams you can choose provide the name here and then uh, the, from the template you can select team site classic you can see here so this is the place from where you can create a team site classic and uh, if you are familiar with little bit of development then you can see this is the developer site if you want to create for it right so this this is where you have to come if you want to create a developer site as well so from here uh, like tabin zone and then uh, the quota and then administrator you can choose it click on create and then it will you, uh, the classic sharepoint team site will get created um so i will just quickly create it so classic uh, site demo and then uh, i'll give the url same thing and i'll choose team site classic i can choose my name as well here uh for the uh, you know administrator 
and then here the time zone you can choose whichever the time zone you have and you can see here it will take some time as as i said you know classic site will will take some time you can see here it is done and then click on okay i clicked on okay and then you see here nothing you cannot see anything here but it will take some time and then it will available under this active sites also so it's not that you cannot see it here or any other place where you can see classic site you will be able to see all your classic sites in this tab okay now from let the classic site to be created over there you can see here that uh, classic site has been created and it will just take some time and then it will also take a little bit of time to reflect on this site but in this dialog box if you want to create a group connected site you can click over here now microsoft is providing a lot of templates so templates uh, as the name suggests it's a, it's a template like if you look at this uh, there are certain list uh, might have been they have created there they might have set a home page that's what they have done right so let's say employee onboarding i'll choose they have an option where you can see this as a preview and here it is saying clearly one home page three additional pages one list one page templates there's nothing but it's nothing that if you not select it you cannot create it a uh, site like this later you can do it you can customize it in the future videos i will also show you how we can customize a uh, team site whichever we will create so you can got the exact look and feel as well right uh, but in case if you want to use it you can use the template also this is a team site template you can use it uh, let's say i'll create uh, this one right again the same thing if you use the default template the also same thing nothing will change on this right and you can change from here if you want to change the template i can go to the standard i can go here and say use the template okay now next you need to provide a site name now this is where the little bit of ui changes happened uh, on this so i will let's say i'll say enjoy uh sharepoint dev i'll just keep the site as dev uh, though there is a site exists so suppose you can see here now let's say there is a site which is exist on the name of enjoy sharepoint uh, so when i'm trying to create it you can see here it is saying that the group is already exist uh, and you can uh, change it so i i if i'll try to give a name like uh, anything can give it but when you put a name if it is not there exist then it will try to create the group group email address and the site address are the same same name so if you can see here site name whatever i am providing same way it is trying to create the group group email address and also it is trying to set the url right and also it is super fast you can see here and you can provide a description for it and then i can provide a uh, the group owner this is very important because you need a group owner for it now remember so it's not the site owner it's the group owner that means the owner will be um, you know uh, accessible or they can access it here you can see office 365 group it will create and then uh, you will have a one line notebook group email address team calendar everything will will do that right so imagine if i will go to the group and i'll add someone then they can access everything right and then i'll click on next here you will see here two important things here i will tell you first thing is the uh, privacy settings so privacy settings by default when you will create a team site it will be private private means the members which you will give access let's say you are a developer team if you want to give xyz the access then they will only access it if any other people wants to access it they will try to access it then they will get access denied and then they can you can add those uh, those people in the later right the other one is public site again uh, as the name suggests here anyone in the organization can access it don't think like anyone in the world uh, they can access it it's not a anonymous site it's a public site where any user in your organization having this domain email address they can access it okay so i'll choose private uh, mostly when you will create a communication site that will be the case where you will see that uh, i'll also show you i'll create a communication site as well so you'll you, you, by default that will be public okay communication site and then you will choose the language and the time set uh, sorry time zone that you can fill it and then click on create by the time you will uh, try to click create this some um, could not create the site please go back uh, we will just okay i'll just quickly just fill the information again uh, site name I'll give enjoy share point let's say I'll give pro and uh, this is the group email address everything looks fine there should not be a reason why it is why it will not create 
let's see now you can see here it is creating the site so when you will add the members like you can see here the site is got created like if you go to the admin center now you will see uh, go to the active sites and then uh, uh, if you go to the enjoy sharepoint uh, let me see here cde um, there are a lot of since we usually use this for develop uh, like you know development you can see here the enjoy sharepoint pro site is already created but if you look at this it is asking uh, still so i can add any user let's say i will see a user over here who is the user exist and you can add any user into that a d e l e so you will see here i can add this user you can choose whether you want to make a member or owner you can do this and you can click on finish so uh, now when i will uh, open this site you can see here site is already created right so this is super fast compared to the classic site uh, so if i'll go and open the enjoy sharepoint pro site you can see this is the site we created now and here you will see by default the and again this is the default site template we have not used any template for this and look at this uh, here is the member and two members are there the other one which i have added uh, and then i have added as a member now i'll go to the uh, same uh, to the admin center and this time what we will do is we will create a, a communication site click on create and then click on communication site here you will see there are a lot of templates are there which you can choose for example i'll say department this is a communication site i, I want to create and i'll say uh, uh, create it so i'll give a name for it so i will say uh, enjoy SharePoint hr something like that i'll give and then you will be the site owner i will provide my name on this and then click on next now you can see here angle um, you know language and this thing time zone and then here you can see it is creating a uh, communication site which is a, a department site and you see it, it it didn't ask me for uh, uh, whether you want to create a private site or public site because by default it's a public site that means anyone in your organization can access it or uh, whether uh, you know you uh, whether you uh, give access to them or not if they have um a site they have a permission then they can access it so if i'll go to the ng sharepoint here um like ng sharepoint hr you can see i'll click on it and then this is a template that you are using right but uh, there is also chance that uh, you don't want to create a use a template so you can go to the communication site you can choose the standard template and you can see here one home page will be there you can use this template you can uh, um, you can give anything communication demo and you have the option also you can choose the site address site and teams uh, that also you can do and i will give the name here just to clarify here i am creating a site by without using the template but if you see here same thing like uh, you know just that uh, here you see uh, you know in the hr by default there is something that uh, they have designed like this uh, you know some of the list library uh, they have put uh, you know event they are showing and then this is but uh, the other one if you'll see here uh, we, we created the communication demo or something like that so i am just go here this communication demo this is a communication site which is not using any template and you will see the look and feel is a little different compared to that one but yeah anytime also you can go to any communication site and then uh, you can create a, some site like this right so this is how you can create a communication site this is how you can create a team site i have explained how we can create a team, a team site without a office 365 groups and how we can access it in the upcoming videos i'll show you how we can give permission how we can do customization and all these things if you are new to the channel kindly subscribe to the channel so that you will get a lot of notifications on this and if you want any specific video then you can put in the comments i'll try to make videos on that so i hope you will have a great day thank you and have a nice day